Welcome back to my series, Beginner Zero to Guru Hero, Cooking Edition. Last video, we crammed a lot of information into your head about the basic fundamentals of cooking. So this time, we're going to focus on keeping it relatively light and pushing it up to Master 1. There are a few paths you can take for this route, but I'll be focusing mostly on the cheapest route. Last episode, we were making a ton of vinegar. I'll say now that you can continue to pump these out until Master 1 if you wish, but I'd rather do pickled vegetables for a little more XP and silver per hour, and this will allow us to use up some of that vinegar we made. So before we get started, I want to dive into BDO DAE a little bit more, as in future episodes this will quickly become a frequented tool. I'll leave a link in the description again in case you don't have it. So we're going to search and pull up pickled vegetable. In the middle, we'll have our recipe list. We can see now that vinegar is the sub-recipe required to make this dish. Good thing we have a bunch. If not, you can craft them up as it includes the recipe in full within it. Seeing as we've already done this already, we can close this portion and focus on our pickled veg. I want to make another 5,000 batch of these because round numbers are nice. Down below, we have our shopping list of 20,000 vinegar, 40,000 vegetable, 10,000 leavening agents, and 10,000 sugar. On a side note, you can also hover over different things on BDO DAE and it will show you the entire ingredients list that you would need for one thing. But most importantly, if I hover over vegetable, you will see that there are five different vegetables within this category. I can use these interchangeably. If I want to use cabbage, I can use cabbage. I choose to use paprika because I usually find that the prices for everything else is slightly higher than Milano Bellucci sells them for from a vendor. But take a look at all five of these. If you find any on the market that are cheaper than the vendor price of Milano Bellucci, then buy them up. You can also pre-order a bunch of these to help accelerate your overall inventory. Despite the paprika prices being cheaper on the market, I need about 40,000 of these and I'm going to pay a little bit higher price to avoid having to wait for these pre-orders to fill. Again, this is about power leveling and it's not about profit. Quantity versus quality, but this is a choice you can choose to make if you have the patience. As you can see on the left hand side, pickled vegetables have the chance to proc a rare version, the sweet and sour pickled vegetable. You can also change the proc averages as your mastery goes up and these are my current rates at 1280 mastery. By default, you will be at 2.5 times average with a 0.3 rare proc rate. This means that for every one cycle, you will get 2.5 pickled veg and 0.3 sweet and sours on average. So with my mastery and a 5,000 batch, I can expect a yield of 14.3 thousand pickled vegetables and 2,300 sweet and sour pickled vegetable. You can also input the costs for everything giving you the ingredient costs and the total profit expected. All right, let's get back to BDO. Well, now that we've gathered up everything we need, let's start into this. Pickled vegetable gives about 700 XP versus the 400 XP we were getting with vinegar, so this will help with the increased experience requirements as we get closer to master. As your recipe knowledge increases, you can start to search for recipes you've already created. This can save you a bit of time as it allows you to input the last successful combination of materials you used into the tool and start cooking immediately. It can also be helpful as a quick reference tool if you forget the exact quantities that are required. Time warp! So here we are. It took about 10,000 crafts for us to zip up to the purple and approximately three and a half utensils with all of my buffs up. Mileage will vary between all of us, so keep that in mind. The more buffs you have, the faster this goes. But now that we're done with the boring stuff, we have most of the recipes unlocked as well as access to the master cooking crates for Imperial Turn-Ins, which I will talk about in a later video. And at this point, we're going to end this block. Next episode, I'll be switching over to an alt that has weight as well as Kanape purchase to seriously start power leveling through to Guru, as this is a pretty big chunk of experience compared to what we just went through. We're also going to dig into larger recipes and start cooking dishes for meals. Meals are the biggest XP and money, ranging from 1600 to 2400 XP per dish. You can see why we're going to take the time to make these instead of trying to keep it simple. If you want to get ahead on the game, I suggested it last video, and I'll suggest it again. Get milk. Get so much milk. You can gather it from cows in different farms, or you can pre-order it off the market. The more you have, the easier life is going to be. As always, thank you for watching, and until next episode, keep on cooking your booty off. Take care, all.